Hallelujah. Happy weekend to you. You're welcome to Redeem Rain with Nika Ayori Day. And I believe your week has been a beautiful one. It's been a mine has been a lovely week. Yeah, it's been a lovely week thus far. Today, I like to say you're welcome once again. You're welcome. And I would like you to please share, comment to whatever we're discussing today. You know, we love to always be interactive. You drop your contribution by typing in the comment box there and all the people will be able to gain from you. So this week we have a guest who will be joining us. He's a man of God and God has loaded him to be a blessing to us on this program today. He'll be joining us very, very soon. Uh, but I would like us to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you. It's another week, another week to say thank you for your grace. We are grateful, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that this program be a blessing to as many that will come across it in the name of Jesus. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for being faithful. Lord, we are grateful in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, you're welcome to Redeem Rain with Nika Yori Day this weekend. We have a topic to discuss today. Our topic says praise as a sacrifice. Praise as a sacrifice. So when we look at praise, what are we talking about? We are talking about an act of expressing oneself in appreciation, in gratitude to another. So praise is an act, is an expression of gratitude to another in worship. And another we are talking about here has to do with worship parts of God. And all we are talking about is God here. We are not looking at any other object of worship. Good evening, sir. You're welcome, sir. Well, Good evening. Can Good you evening. hear me? I'm hearing you clear. All right. Loud and clear. So you're welcome to Reading Brain with Sika Yorinde, sir. It's a privilege to have you here today. And we trust God that God will use you and God will use me to speak the right words to our audience in Jesus' name. Amen. So before you talk, uh, great thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, sir. So I would like you to introduce yourself, sir. Kindly okay. introduce. Good evening, everyone. Our Good. lovely viewers. God bless you. I am Yemi Omolaja. Uh, uh, like already said, I'm a minstrel. Uh, I'm a lawyer by training, and uh, okay. uh, by calling, I'm, I'm I'm a music minister. You know. Okay. I also have. I so, also teach yeah. the Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You're married. You're married. Thank yes, you. I'm married with children. <laughs> with children. Bless, Bless you. Thank you. Children. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we need to yeah. say that also. All right, sir. So you're welcome, sir. Yeah. So you, I, you. I, I believe you are still practicing law. You are still practicing law, sir, alongside yes. ministry. Yes. Okay, yes, by the grace of God. How's it been, sir? Yes, it's been wonderful. It's 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 just my work, so is it, there are no issues. Actually, I'm not so active in the advocacy. You know, okay. I major majorly on document solicitorship. You know. Oh. So, okay. But I have, oh, yeah. they have not disturbed each other at all. It's been oh, no, fine. Yeah. Go go to hear that that at least you 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 have a profession and you're a minister of God, so I I love that we we, we are like Apostle Paul eh? went to music ministry and we are doing some other things. I do music, 
I do businesses. Yes. I also work with I yes. Yes. PLC. Yes. You know, so we can cope by the grace of God. We have been empowered to do so many things. After yes. these many yes. things. Yes. So we give God yes. glory for that. So now our topic yeah. today, Money. we are looking at okay. praise as a sacrifice. Praise as a sacrifice, you know. I was saying before you joined, uh, praise is an acknowledgement, you know, of gratitude to another. And I said the another we're talking about is God. So acknowledge of gratitude, an expression of gratitude to God in worship. So it's giving God worship, being grateful to Him, praising Him. You know, it goes a long way to you you elogize Him. You do all manner of things just to let him know that you are supreme, you are God, you are God. I'm giving this gratitude to you. It could be because of what he has done. You know, you are just annoyed because of what he has done sometimes. You are just, you are filled with that praise and you just want to give it to God in worship. It's an act of worship to God when we give praise to him. Now, we are now looking at praise as a sacrifice. That sacrifice is what calls for real discussion. When praise becomes a sacrifice, every other person can praise God. I'll say, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Not only the born again in child of God, you know? Not only when you are born, everything that has breath, Praise God. I believe that all that God has created give praise to Him. I believe that the sea, as the wave, the wave of the sea, are praising God. That is me. I'm not imposing that on any. I believe that the trees of the field, they are praising God. As the wind blows the tree, they are giving praise to God. So I believe that all that God has created are giving praise to Him. But when we now we want to look at when the praise now become a sacrifice, it becomes a sacrifice. Then what and what could that mean? Is there anything special about when praise becomes a sacrifice? Is it there's not no, no big deal? Praise is praise, praise is praise. But we are looking at when break praise becomes a sacrifice. That's what we are looking at. Before you call me, sir, I want to welcome everyone joining us online. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Please would like you to share this video so that other people can also be part of it. And also, we would like you to add your comments. We appreciate that. Want to see what you have to add to what we're discussing. We appreciate that. So, sir, over to you, sir. Chris, you can lay your foundation of what you understand by praise. Okay, thank you very I much. God bless you. Thank you again for having me. God bless you, our viewers. Amen. If you may allow me, uh, I would just like to, you know, do a, a sketch foundation again, you know. All right. Let me re enlight the definition of praise. Thank you for, you know, how you've given us a sketch definition of it. You know, I, I want to do this because is is the, the the body of Christ should develop in knowledge, you know. Okay. And not just, you know, not just in some acts. You know that we call uh, uh, whatever name we call them. Praise is, is actually an act of exaltation, adoration, magnification, acknowledgement of the awesomeness. Now, our definition is geared towards God. I don't want to waste yeah. time on general yes. balance of you know. yes. Praise unto God is acknowledgement of His outstanding, awesome acts. Mm. Both the one he has done before we came, the creation, the constellation of stars, the, the, the planets, you know, the endlessness of creation, the, you know. And we man just looks at this and says, this God is awesome. So essentially, not to waste our time, praise goes to adore God, magnify God for who he is, for it limitless power for his you know for who he is essentially that's about praise though it's a component part of worship just like thanksgiving is a component part of worship thanksgiving is what god has done we are yes. being grat 
grateful. We are showing gratitude because of the things he has done for us. So, you know, that, little, that separates it a little bit. Just like Thanksgiving is a component part of worship, just like giving of offering is a component part of worship, just like prayer session at corporate gatherings, you know, of God's people is a component part of worship, just like our day daily quiet time with him is a component part of worship we all know worship is the whole lifestyle of the yeah so yes, i just yes. feel there is the need for the sake of some of us who are watching this that praise goes directly to the person of god for who yes. he is for his awesomeness you know so so god bless us let's let's now come back to the question of the day which is sacrifice of praise is praise like you said ma anybody can offer songs of praise anybody can offer chants of praise by the way it is not praise if it is, if it is internalized if you are just just wondering how god is how beautiful how mighty he is and it is internalized you're not saying anything it, it doesn't equal praise praise must be expressed outwardly you must, it must, from as little a thing as a smile, wow, wow, this God. It must be expressed mm. out. Hence, another thing I want to make is praise does, is not just in songs. Either yeah. just mere speak and say, ah, to be Ibani. Out of series of thoughts, you've wondered what kind of God is this, who have done this, and it, it, it finds expression in your mouth by means of speech. So praise includes spoken words, Praise includes chants, chants that adore and magnify him. Praise includes mm -hmm. written songs that are deliberately written in that line to extol, mm -hmm. to magnify him. So praise must be expressed. It can also be expressed in clapping. Clap your hands, O oh ye people. It can also be expressed in dance. So don't let don't let's confine praise to it. It must, all, must always be in songs just that's just for one or two questions who might be listening so now we are coming to the, the the topic of the day sacrifice of praise sacrifice of praise the word sacrifice already connotes that it signifies that it must cost you something yeah thank you <laughs> if, if, you're, if you're flowing and praising god because all is well around you you got married and you have children and you have your basic things of life shelter car and all of those things and smoothly praise is flowing out of you yes we can just say that it's just mere you know mm. praise but when we're talking about the sacrifice of praise how about when god allows the situations of your life to to be in the valley mm. you got married everybody's expecting the, the the fruit of the first fruit of the wedding in in, in respect of pregnancy you know in a couple of months and, and nothing is showing forth one year, two years, three years, does that dwindle? Does that does that affect relationship with God? Does that affect your 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 moments of quiet time in his presence? You know, and ma, can I even also generally reduce this to one thing? All of these things we're okay. discussing. Bible says we we are talking of we God's children. God's children. The Bible says we are the circumcision. We are the ones that have been rescued. And we are the one that worships God in spirit. Philippians chapter 3, verse 3. Every child of God should know it by heart. We are the circumcision that worship God in spirit. We, Our relationship with God is connected by our understanding of whom he is, what mm. work he did for us at the cross. And that is the foundation of our relationship with him. If we say we are born again, that is where it all starts. Our God is not the God that is moved by physical, you know, physical performances. The Bible says in First Samuel chapter two, chapter one, chapter two, verse mm -hmm. three. It says, "God is the God of all knowledge. By Him, the the reasons for the things we do are weighed. All actions are weighed by Him. He that sees into your heart, that sees into my heart, He is moved and is only reading what the, the, the state of your heart is." So, and that is why you cannot be a believer, you cannot maintain a sacrificial praise unto God 
if you are not a genuine believer. If you're not a genuine hey, <laughs> all this there, sir. Thank you so much. Please, if you are joining us, make sure you drop your contribution in the comment box there. It just says something now. You cannot maintain that relationship without being a person that gives God sacrifice. Of, I'm trying to paraphrase you what you cannot said. Be, you, cannot, you cannot praise God sacrificially, which, is, which weighs more in the eyes of God mm. if you are not a genuine mm. child of God. You are right, sir. You are right, sir. And that will take me to our text, the text okay. for this program, the text for this very edition, Hebrews okay. 13, 15. Hebrews 13, 15 says, Therefore, by him, as this Jesus Christ, let us yes. continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is, the fruit of our leaves, giving thanks to his name by Jesus Christ. Let continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. The fruit of our leaves, giving thanks to his name. You know, you said something that the, 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 the praise we're talking about is an expression that you know you don't just only wonder it that praise you express praise, you express in different mm. ways, and you, you have you know you told us different ways. You can sing it, you can talk it, you can dance, you can give God dance of praise. That's all you're doing. You're just, you know, you as you're thinking it that sometimes you exclaim, ah, praise That's God. It. Some things you just find the, the expressions of just jump out of you as we're doing mm. that to God. And that is it, you know. And I, I would like to also read another scripture. Please permit me, sir. Ahead, so I know ahead. you are loaded, but it's an, <laughs> I know that no, no, you are no, ready. An, an, an interactive session. So no, 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 God bless you. That's Hebrews 13, 15. And and I would also like to read Jeremiah 33, verse 11. Jeremiah, okay, chapter 13, verse 11. 11. And I have to read that scripture to ask a question, you know, as you go ahead to talk, to ask a question. Jeremiah 33, verse 11 says, The voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the voice of those who will say, Praise the Lord of hosts. For the Lord is good, for his mercy endures forever. Mm. And of those who will bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord, God now says, For I will cause the captives of the Lord of the land to return as at the first, says the Lord. But, Sam, yeah. this is my, 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 my question from this scripture. You know, it, yeah. it, 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 it talks about voice of joy. Voice of gladness, voice of gladness. You know, there's rejoicing everywhere. And people can easily say that, praise the Lord of us. He has talked about those people who will give God the praise. And I say, mm. those who will bring. So it's like two sets of people coming here. The first one who will come to say, praise the Lord. And you now say, and of those who will bring the sacrifice of sacrifice. praise into mm. the house of God. Mm. So it's not every you. time that we all start that to praise. That it is yes. it's not, it's not circumstantial. I mean, praise. No, some people mm. praise God mm. for, uh, for Good what has happened. It's not yes. spontaneous yes. It's, mm -hmm. as it were. It's not because of what mm -hmm. they were, they received that they are praising yes. God for. But anytime we mm. even got that before God, there are people who are praising Him. Praise as it were. They have reasons. Things are going rosy. Voice, no, yeah. voice of rejoicing, voice of joy. But there are some people who will come with sacrifice of praise. Those people are the same. Of people that they have come before God. It's not because everything is all right. It's not because they are mm. joy. It's not because there is joy in the atmosphere of their life. It's not because everything is working on well. Mm. Not because they have mm. the money in their pocket. Not because mm. you, you give a scenario of somebody who is married and who is still expecting an expecting mm. woman. An expectant mother, mm -hmm. as it were, an expectant father mm -hmm. who has not given back, and they, they keep counting years in marriage. And people have been saying, What is happening? What is happening? Still, they come to praise God with mm -hmm. sacrifice of praise. 
The first mm. set, we saw the first set. Nothing like they came to praise God. But the second set are the people mm. who came to sacrifice mm. to God because it's not that all is well, but they are bounded to do that. They have seen themselves that this God, uh, uh, I will praise God. Come work me. I will give him praise. Mm. So, sir, you cannot go ahead mm. to where you mm. stop. Okay, ma'am. Riding on what you said last, God bless you for this scripture. And thank, thank you. you so much. It blesses me. In fact, all the things you said last. You know, riding on it, ma, there, there are two sides of this thing. People who are satisfied, people whom God has yeah. turned their captives yeah. around and they yeah. were their dream. And, you know, and this praise just flows. Yeah. Praise just flows. Praise just mm. flows. You know? The God whom we serve, like I said, is the God who looks into the heart. And it, only him can judge the quantum of each person's praise before him. Mm. Only mm. him can assess and say, this is the level of the quality of the praise you offer me. So if you are blessed to the tune of hundreds of millions, and there's a need in the church, I'm just digressing it as an example, there's a okay. need in the church, and you came out only because they are announcing those who gave what, and you dropped 10 million and what you drop is almost half or 80 percent of what is needed and someone is there in the church he has just 15 or 100 naira in the house and say oh god oh that you will give me the honor to be part of this your work. oh that you will give me the honor to be part of this your project our god is a god who weighs things by the state of the heart exactly Yes. In that matter now, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8, it says, if there first be a willing heart, if mm. there first be a willing heart, it is already accepted. For mm. that man who has just been naira, heaven and earth, nothing else, and he's saying, oh God, that you will bless me, that I, okay, but this 15 naira, out of 100 naira, I'm giving you 20 naira or 15 naira. It is God who is assessing, who has given the better quality. So, mm. that is how it is. Now somebody dancing for all what God has done. Nobody is judging anybody here. Praise God for them. God is enjoying their praise. But someone who is expectant in a particular area of his life, you know, among the circle of his friend, is not really matching up, as it were. If we should assess things physically, you know, things are not matching up among his colleagues, among the, the, the people of his age. Things are not actually tying together. Yet he is committed. To attending workers meeting he is committed to attending to occupying his space in before god in the vineyard of god only god will tell who is who is offering the most quality uh praise and it is of such people it's of such people that this word sacrifice of praise relates to because there are no loads there are no there are for those whom god has answered to a level, there are not much loads. They are more, their praise is more of, out of thanksgiving, out of gratitude. As you say, so it's happening, so I've seen in my life. My life has proven you to be a true God. Those are the reasons why their praise is more of gratitude. But for persons who are serving God in spite of persecution, in spite of depravity, in spite of several things that are not going right, and they keep to time, they are always there before God in fellowships, in brethren meeting, in everything. Once it concerns God, once it concerns the thing of the kingdom, I'm not talking of those who are just church churches who just keep every program. I'm talking of those who have divine connection with God. Only God knows the quality of praise they give. But with our rating, studying the word of God, we can tell that they are the one giving better quality. But more than that, this is what I think God is preparing the, his body, the body of Christ, for. Get into relationship with me by love. Have a personal encounter with me. Don't be a Christian because your daddy is a Christian. Don't be a Christian because your husband is a Christian. Locate your personal, locate your personal, find your personal encounter with me. Once what determines your relationship with me as your God is that love, every other thing you will overcome. So that, that when things are rosy on the mountain, you are still my, my child. And when things are funny down there in the valley, you are still my child. 
like I was quoting in the earlier scripture, Philippians 3, verse 3. It says, we, God's children, we are this position that worship God in the spirit. That in the spirit signifies that we are people who have found the reason to follow God. And that is, we found his love. He sent his son to die for us to redeem our lives. And so we are determined to follow him. Come what may. He says, we rejoice in Christ Jesus. He says, and we are not moved by the flesh. Meaning that we are not moved by circumstances. Philippians chapter 3, verse 3. So every, every child of God whom by grace finds himself loving God for whom God is, for what God has done for him, coming into a relationship with God for what God has done for him eternally. All of these things, temptations, denials, depravity, attacks of the enemy, things that are delays that ordinarily people of his age should have gotten and is not getting, all of these trials, he will just be finding grace to glide on. He'll be finding grace to keep offering this sacrifice of praise. Such are the people that you see that in spite of their situations in the church, you will see these people, they, yeah. they dance from their heart. They, if it is to, to clean the sanctuary, they clean it from their heart. And you wonder, this man is so depraved. Why is he still doing this? He has located his personal encounter with God. He has, he has tied the knots from inside. And things are around cannot push him off and that is where god is trying to build every one of us into it's funny that most of our praise leaders and singers right now the god will help every one of us to look at yeah. this reality of him, you know so let me just hold it up here for a while thank you so much sir ah uh, you have really blessed us you know you are talking about our praise worship Leaders, God will help us eh, to really yep. do it the way we ought to do it. That we, we, we should really, you know, be in that place that will make people to love praising this God the way they ought to praise Him. So we are still talking about praise as a sacrifice, giving God a sacrifice of praise. Now, for, from my hand there, I, I want us to look at the attributes of praise, you know, as a sacrifice. When praise becomes a sacrifice, what are the attributes that we can lay hold on, things we can point at when praise becomes a sacrifice? Okay. Do I, do I have the floor? Yes, sir. Yes, over to you. Hello? Hello, yeah, over to you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The number one thing you will see in the individual is joy, irrespective of the circumstance. We can't rule out some emotional feelings, some emotional downtime in the life of such individual. Once in a while, loads of the things, the weight of the things he's going through or she's going through may be expressed even without him or her knowing on her face. But because at the place of personal uh, quiet time, at his personal secret place with God, he renews strength or she renews strength. You will find more, than, more often than not, consistency of joy, mm. regardless of whatever is happening to them. Joy, the joy of the Lord will be there. I'm not talking of joy that must always find expression in smiles. No, I'm talking of joy that drives the particular person to always be there whenever it concerns the matters of God. If it is this space that is occupying in the, in the workforce, in the church of God, he or she is always there. If he wouldn't be there by any circumstances, he will communicate to the leader. You will see sense of responsibility. You will see that connection with his God. You will see that connection. So, so number one property that we, by which you can measure, you know, that this person is actually in his period of sacrifice of praise is that, that he will have joy, regardless of whatever you think he's deprived of or whatever. He will have joy. Number two, to have that joy, like I said earlier, the individual, the believer, all of us, because it's a, it's a topic that covers every believer. All of us must yeah. not lose our secret place. I was hearing Mommy Shon Mommy Ton Shueton saying in one of your programs. She said, okay. said 
we must not allow fame to get into our personal relationship with God. That is where mm. we re new strength. That is where we realign. That is where we, uh, you know, unwind and get properly realigned back to God. That is the place of our strength. That's the place where we can meditate on his word. That is the place we can be quiet and have God, our Father, speak to us. Mm. Things that we are longing for in the natural and they are not coming like we like like we desire. It's either God keeps showing us better tomorrow through our dreams or by visions in that quiet place. Yeah. Or he basically keeps quiet to watch us get out of the classroom because I call our trials classrooms. <laughs> and until we learn the thing he wants us to learn, we can be promoted to the next class. You know. So we will see joy and we'll see that the person is always connected with God. And you will see him, him you will hate such a person will hate what is ungodly. The devil is popularizing and making uh, people who are not deep in the Lord, he's making them very famous and he's rewarding them handsomely in our time in our days you know i heard of the music minister they told him to come and have 30 minutes uh, just 30 minutes and he said am i coming with my band or whatever they said no sir before that he said okay if it's 30 minutes i'll be there i'll spend 25 minutes but give me eighty thousand. that was some years back and i the, the kind of esteem i have for this man dropped a little you know these are the kind of things we are saying. The devil has popularized people. He has given people fame, people who know nothing about the mind of Christ. But because they can join two songs together and give a vibrant praise, the so-called vibrant praise, the one that people will jump off, carry chair, carry human being, and begin to do ungodly things. That's what we define <laughs> it as. <laughs> and because of that, all kinds of work. But people have validated that and they have made it their definition of any tolerance. Mm -hmm. And this needs to be corrected. These are people who don't even know what the word of God says. And yet they do all this jamboree here and there. Every child of God must be strong and not be moved by this uh, thing that the devil is using to, to 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 sway people off the track. You must not lose your secret place on a daily basis that's where we new strength that's where we thank that's where we refocus that's where we get real uh, thank okay. you so much sir for, for that i want to know if you have other points on that but before you go ahead you know you know you, you mentioned uh, someone a man of god was probably charged eighty thousand. you know on yeah. that i just <laughs> you know as it is now you know, we just leave sorry, eight hundred thousand. Sorry, thousand. You know, as I eight hundred thousand. Yeah, so for me, at, at this point, and I, I don't, I don't cut of um, maybe just condemn or whatever. You know, what we just try to lead people to their mm -hmm. God. Because some of these people they have their experience of the past that's which I'm not trying to, you know, I mean, what. I'm not trying to justify that. Neither am I trying to condemn it. I'm just saying that me personally, you know, when it comes to that, I have to just lead people to God. Let's keep praying for ourselves that God will help us. Because some if you hear some things behind this place that these people have gone mm. to, if they should tell you some of their past experiences, you may humanly speaking, you may want to. You may be tempted to justify them, so that's why I say I just leave it mm. to. I'm trying to balance some so that on the on the program somebody will not think mm. that we are trying to condemn people who charge. No, if I, it's one of the topics we're still going to from mm. this mm. Yes, we're going to discuss it. The honorarium, is it charging or not charging? Or just leave it at honorarium. We are coming. It's a topic that means where we are bringing men of God will be talking to us on it. So to move forward on what we are talking about. So we have been, I, I like the, the part where we have made our audience to know that sacrifice of praise most times is not, is not human 
Honestly speaking, it's not easy a thing to do. But when you look at what, what you are going through, you are, you are especially if you, are, you, are, you love God. People can testify that you love God and you, are, you give God his praise. And with all that, and you are having this challenge, issue of life that people have even given you name by what you are going through. People, they've christened you already. That brother that normally put on blue trousers, that's only one blue, blue trousers. That man that always pushes car. You know, things like that, that things in our lives that we ourselves, we think God, this too, is not bringing you glory. God, change my situation. Or that woman that has been married for 20 years, that's not giving birth. People have given that woman. They know her name. They won't call her by her name again. They will call her by that challenge in her life. And this is a person who gives God praise. This is a person who is sold out to giving God praise. And that challenge is there. So we are looking, we are, what we are saying is that people like in that category, they are really giving God what we call sacrifice of praise. Because that is a, a, a time in our lives when our situations are telling us that, do you think God wants your praise? Do you think God deserves this praise? By virtue of what you're going through. But we are bent at saying, that, no, 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 come with me. I will give it to him. And from my hands, I, I would like to contribute to attributes of when praise becomes a sacrifice. When praise, firstly, the attributes. Number one, from my hand, I look at it as it becomes a thing that you, you, you begin to see it as a thing that you can't shy away from. You carry it out yourself. That is when you say, oh, just be praising God for me. And Pastor Yemi, I'm not like that. Be praising God for me. And there's, uh, and no, but you know, you, you don't, you, you just see that you, you're not interested to praise God again because of what you're going. No, that time you will carry it. You see, you carry out praise by yourself. You don't second somebody to do it for you. You say no one will do it. You do. It becomes a do it yourself thing. That's a praise becomes a do it yourself. No one takes your place in praise. That is my number one attribute of when praise becomes a sacrifice. It becomes a do it yourself thing. Nobody will do it for you. You do it. Number two, commitment. You are committed to give to giving God praise in spite of whatever you may be going through. There is a commitment to it. It's no longer dictated by what you 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 have or what you don't have you are just committed to giving it to god so commitment is number two thing you are committed to the praise of god then no, no my number three you're welcome back sir so yeah i'm listing my my attributes i said the first one you carry it out yourself number two is that you are committed to it commitment is number two and for me, number three is it is continuous. You can hear me very well. The network is a little bit. Yo, I, can, I can hardly I can hear you. I can hear you. hear you. All right. right. But I, I can hear you very well. I can hear you. Wow. So, number three thing is that it is continuous. Can you hear me now? It is continuous. You do it continuously. You do it continuously. Then, number four for me is you are consistent. You are consistent. Yes. with giving praise mm. yeah then then mm. the, the, the number five i have it well, it is constant you know like uh, david said in, in a place in the bible in, in the book of sander seven times a day i give you praise you know constantly it's not that two four seven past always okay i said you do it constantly too even if we want you to do it all the time per second you are there good minutes god and also you do it whether convenient or whether it is not convenient so those are the attributes yes. of a praise that has that, become that one you, said, you do it whether it is convenient hello I'm with you, sir. Go ahead. I can hear you. 
Okay. I think uh, in Genesis 15, is it 15 or 17? I can't believe that. Verse 1, God, God had to call Abraham and said, I am your great and exceeding reward. Perhaps God has seen into his heart that you are too worried about what you long for and that you have not gotten it yet. You are too troubled about it. Now, as from today, if I am your God, like you agreed, begin. I am your great and exceeding reward. Mm. That thing you think you don't have, if you see me, the maker of the entire thing, I said I'm your friend. Oh yeah, begin to rejoice in that fact that the maker of, of heaven and earth, the owner of the cattle, thousand cattle on the hills and everything, is your God. You know, the earth from which we dig all this aluminum and iron to make cars and all of these things is your God. I think God is trying to teach us that though it is tough but we need to develop mm. our faith and develop our love and commitments to him so that once we can get that right without our knowing we would be dead to every other thing that would normally bother any person any other person in the world yeah. thank you yeah you're right sir. Move to do what only he can do yeah i agree with you you're right sir so sir as we wrap it up today what what do you have to tell someone who is a true worshiper of god who has been giving god praise and who is in serious need or who is facing a serious challenge uh you know like one of the things i i have here i say is that you know as we're looking at praise as as, as a sacrifice one of the things i have here is that it may involve ongoing dedication and perseverance in the face of challenges or setbacks. You are still dedicated to it. You still persevere in the face mm. of challenge, in the face of setback. So, so what, Sorry, just, 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 what, give, me, just what, give me two, five seconds. Okay. It's raining and my, my children are knocking the gates. Please, just five seconds. Oh, all right, Sorry. all right, sir. Yeah. Okay, so what we are saying is that it's possible that you, you have ongoing challenge, you have ongoing things in your life, but still, you should make your dedication to also be ongoing. You should make your perseverance to be ongoing. You should still be consistent at it in face of that challenge. So what words, as we wrap up, that we are wrapping up now, what words of encouragement do you have to tell somebody who is dedicated to giving God praise? And who is faced with one challenge or the other? What word of encouragement do you have for them? As well, people give it off. Like uh, just the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verse chapter 12, verse 1 and 2 it says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 3 it says, Look at your father Abraham. Mother, Sarah, look at what I did to him. I called them and blessed them. Let them, let everyone who finds himself or herself in such circumstance keep looking up unto God. Don't lose your secret place. Don't lose the place where you have quiet moments with God. There you will hear his voice. His, his voice is powerful. His voice refreshes. His voice renews. And there you will receive direction on how to, to get to that place that you desire. God bless you. Thank you, sir. And like also from the book of Acts, where Paul and Silas, where, where they praise God in the prison. You know that mm. situation is like a prison. You should keep on praising mm. God. Mm. Right in that prison, God intervened. There was an earthquake. Yes, there was a supernatural you know, intervention. So I, I'm also adding by telling you that God we also come through for you. Supernaturally, God mm. will come through Amen. and you make that yeah, thing that look as if you can't come out of it. That looks like a prison. You turn it to praise. You are giving him praise. Just keep on keep praising him. Keep on praising him. It's a sacrifice of praise. Keep 
giving it to him. And as we give it to him, he, before we are praising, we can't truly, but you are proving you that I'm with you. And he will bring you out. And it will really end in praise. You no, know, coming to praise him, mm. like we, we have read in, uh, in, Jer in Jeremiah, like we have mm. read, that you now come mm. to praise him with joy. You are praising mm. with joy. Though you are it's going praise, through yes. hard times, but joy, your joy will be real indeed. Why is it we can be in joy for a night? But joy comes in the morning. That joy that comes because weeping is gone. You know, you now praise him. You will experience a balanced feeling of praise, as it were. Balanced, balanced feeling of giving joy in praise. You enjoy you 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 really experience it. Go make it your portion. So don't give up. Keep on praising God. Keep on praising God. So sir. I think we are done. I wouldn't know if you have one thing to, any other thing to say as we brand up finally. Any other thing to say? You've said it all. All right. You have, so you said it all. I, I must God is appreciate everybody. Oh, thank you. Uh, so for you who joined, or for you who you watching now, you know, after this program, anytime you come across this video, and this all these videos come across your way, Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Please yes. don't forget to share with somebody. Share it. Also add your comments in the comment box there. Let people know. And if you are not following this page, you can are you on the page yet? Please follow this page so that you always have notification whenever we come live. And to our guest, the man of God, Minstrel Yemi Omolaja. Thank you so much, sir. We are greatly blessed by you. Thank you. God bless you. I pray for God you to start. You. Always have reason to give God praise. More you not have a doubt. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for honoring God in us coming today. More of God. Greater platforms. Greater doors. Amen. I open up to you in the name of Jesus. From glory to glory, God will keep taking you and your ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, sir. And thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye for now.